Hello everybody, I welcome you all to today's video. Today we are going to talk about the five bio, top five bioinformatic companies in the world and types of jobs that you can get. I am Dr. Vaishali, Academic Specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where you get anything and everything regarding bioscience career. So come, let's explore the topic. So the first company that we are going to talk about is DNA Nexus. So DNA Nexus is a cloud-based platform that basically analyzes large volumes of DNA sequence data, right? So the DNA sequence data are being analyzed, especially large volume DNA data. You guys know what, how large the volume of a DNA data could be. So they are a cloud-based platform that help in analyzing these data. The location of this particular company is in USA, that's California. It mainly works on security, scalability and collaboration of uh, you know different organizations of other organizations right of other organization that work on genomic genomic data so basically they help in securing their data or they help in scaling up their data and collaborating with them with their genomics data so that is what primarily dna nexus does so what kind of jobs can you expect in uh, you know uh, dna nexus so it's bioinformatics you can be a data engineer information security engineer or a devops engineer so these are the different types of jobs that you can get in dna nexus now the next company we're going to talk about is seven bridges genomics so seven bridges genomics is located in uh, various locations usa uk siberia and turkey right so they have end-to-end -end bioinformatics solutions so basically they work on l large uh, data sets like for analytical workflows for algorithms for cloud computing infrastructure as well as for scientific support right so these are the different areas that seven bridges genomic uh, focuses on especially when it comes to large data analysis right so they have uh, various products so the first product is the seven bridge platform which is nothing but cloud based platform which helps in analyzing these genomic data the second of their product is the graph genome suite so this is this consists of bioinformatics tools that is mostly used for whole genome sequencing whole genome sequencing of patients so that is what uh, this particular uh, this particular product is used for. The third product is the Seven Bridges Sonar, which talks about the relationship between phenotypic and genotypic uh, properties of a gene. So that is what this particular product does. Now, what can you um, expect? What are the jobs to be expected in Seven Bridges? One is a bioinformatic analyst and R&D engineer when it comes to the science part of it. There are also other various other IT uh, related jobs as well in Seven Bridges Genomics. The third company that we are going to talk about is Illumina. So Illumina majorly works on integrated systems of genetic variations and biological functions and their products they are basically on sequencing genotypic gene expression and proteomics so they work on all of these fields and they have products that help in sequencing and gene expression and proteomics they are uh, headquartered in california usa but they do have various other offices as well it's australia china japan Canada, Brazil, UK, Singapore, as well as Netherlands. So these are the different locations uh, of the Illumina office, but the headquarters is in USA. Now, they also have many uh, DNA sequencers. They help in manufacturing these uh, sequencers. So what are these DNA sequencers? Few of the examples are MiniSeq, MySeq, NextSeq, HiSeq, as well as NovaSeq. So these are the different DNA sequencers. And there is also a product called uh, Base Space Sequencing Hub, which is nothing but, but a cloud-based 
platform that helps in analysis of genomic data. So these are the different products that Illumina has come up with. And here as well, you can uh, become a software engineer, a senior software engineer or a bioinformatician. So these are the different roles or the jobs that's available in Illumina. Now, the next company that we're going to talk about is Gene Data, right? So Gene Data, what do they do is they provide software solutions and consulting solutions for other companies that basically use these genomic data in their day-to-day -day activity, right? So it's majorly for, um, you know, companies that use large-scale data, right? Uh, especially pharmaceutical, biotechnology companies, agricultural industries, and as well as academia worldwide right so these are the different um, you know categories or sectors of companies that uh, gene data collaborates or works with so it's uh, based out of switzerland and the products the different products that they have is the gene data analyst which um, analyzes the gene data which analyzes the gene data gene profiler gene data profiler which helps in genome profiling right genome profiling uh, of patients the next is gene data selector which um, helps or analyzes the different databases and the different knowledge spaces that is there regarding the genes right so what kind of jobs can you get in gene data so one is an IT support engineer or you can be a software developer a data scientist or a bioinformatics analyst so these are the different types of jobs that's available in gene data now the last uh, company that we're going to talk about is genomatics gmbh so they analyze and interpret genomic data they also work with so hardware and software based solutions for microarray experiments as well as ngs so ngs is nothing but next uh, generation sequencing now what are the products that uh, genomatics have so the first one is the genomatics genome analyzer which again works on as we just discussed on the next generation sequencing right next is genomatics software suite that works with genome data that analyzes the genome data. The third is the genomatics gene grid that mostly uh, works on the genomic variants in different species that is there. So these are the three products uh, that genomatics has come up with. So here as well, you have uh, different job roles. So one being bioinformatician or software engineer, R&D engineers, as well as data scientists. So these are the different types of job roles that you get in genomatics. Now, seeing all of these jobs abroad, I'm sure that you would want to develop certain skill sets for you to apply for these jobs. So obviously you can get such skill sets uh, you know, by internships or certificate courses, etc. Here in Biotechnica as well, we have multiple, uh, you know, such uh, courses and internships for bioinformatics particularly. So one of the one such internship is the bioinformatics virtual internship, which which is a very basic uh, course where uh, you can learn the basic concepts and techniques in bioinformatics, right? So there are also various other bioinformatic, um, you know, internships if you are really interested in advanced level. So we have chem, chem informatics, right? Uh, we also have uh, drug discovery right drug discovery and how bioinformatics helps in drug discovery we have computer aided drug design so all of these there are various multiple other such internships and certificate courses for bioinformatics are here at biotechnica itself so do check out the website and see if you're interested to you know skilling yourself in these particular internships now, the next what we are going to talk about is the types of jobs that if you study bioinformatics, what is the type of job that you can land up with, right? So the first uh, type is the structural bioinformatics where you would be dealing with the 3D structures of proteins, right? And then uh, you would also be analyzing on the folding and misfolding of these proteins, right, uh, which leads to disease disease conditions. So these are the various types of 
uh, you know methods that you would be doing if you are a structural bioinformatician second if you are a computational biologist what you would be doing is you would be uh, reading uh, you would be working on mathematics statistics as well as programming languages to work with problems in biology right so you would be using all of these different translational uh, subjects so that you can work on the problems that are present in biology next is drug design and delivery so here as well you would be working on the pathogenicity of the drug right as well as the design of the drug that would help in curing the disease so these are the uh, first three types of jobs the next type of job is the next generation sequence analysis that is ngs where you will be working with mirna and this is a very important uh, you know concept when it comes to treating cancer the next is the phylogenetics where the evolutionary relationships between uh, you know different uh, species would be studied if you are uh, if you are into phylogenetics next is the software development so here you will be involved with Uh, you know uh, developing bioinformatics softwares especially say to handle the databases and the knowledge bi uh, knowledge of biology that is out there then also about knowing the chemical interactions between molecules the bond angle torsion angle the bond length etc so all of these so softwares can help in analyzing these as well and the structure determination basically the de uh, the structure of a protein so determination of structure of protein using software so you will be somebody who would build the softwares for all of these activities right so with this we come to the end of this particular session i'm sure if you are somebody who's interested in bioinformatics and you want to have a job abroad then this video would have definitely been super helpful do check out the internships and the certificate courses as well in bioinformatics that we have if at all you want to uh, you know scale up in your skills right thank you so much see you all until next week bye